Selenium for Beginners with Rex Jones II. The next syntax is an illustration of two or more attributes, names, and values. This syntax operates like the logical AND operator using two or more conditions. Let's inspect the excellent radio button. According to the Selenium Locator Rankings, we would use ID or name before using XPath. However, here's the power of XPath. Let's imagine the application is under construction and the architect wants to make sure these attribute values do not change. We find the element by using multiple attributes and if it breaks, we know one or both values change. Two forward slashes, tag name, input, square brackets, at symbol, attribute name, ID, equal two single quotes, then the attribute value, poll answers, hyphen one. We found the element, but let's add the square brackets again, at name equal two single quotes, then poll answers hyphen one. Success. The next syntax is the and operator. It's our preference. We can use the and operator or multiple sets of brackets. Go back to the AUT. All we do is replace the inside brackets with and. We still have our element with one of one. Both syntaxes operate the same. The next syntax is the OR operator change and to or but now we have one of four search 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 why is that that's because all four radio buttons have the same value for name poll answers hyphen one let's inspect search store this is a different scenario Imagine the architect is okay with one of the attribute values changing, but we still want to find this element. We replace ID with small hyphen search terms and the name with Q. Now we see one of one. There are times when we have to use indexes to find our element. The next syntax has an index for tag name. We are going to switch AUTs and look at tables using W3 schools. Inspect Helen Bennett. It's best to write this XPath by starting with an attribute within the table tag. Table is the parent element for tbody, tr, and td. tbody describes the table body. tr is table row, and td is data in a particular cell. Two forward slashes. Tag name table, square brackets, at attributes name ID, equal two single quotes. Then the attributes value is customers. 
one forward slash after the bracket, which provides access to the child element T body. Which row is Helen Bennett's? One, two, three, four, five. We write forward slash TR bracket five. Helen Bennett is the second cell, one, two. Therefore, we write forward slash after the bracket TD bracket two. The green background indicates we have found Helen Bennett. You can find this cheat sheet at tinyurl.com, Selenium Locators for Web Elements, and GitHub at Rex Jones II forward slash Selenium for Beginners. Next is XPath Functions. Online courses coming soon. Books available in paperback, ebook, and PDF. All Part 1 ebooks and PDF documents are free. Programming books for UFT. Programming books for Java. Here's the Selenium Automation Book. And TestNG. Subscribe to get notification of future videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.